So this is a problem about a B that uh, is traveling in a straight line. And this graph over here, um, it's similar. I tried my best uh, to the one on your, um, on your problem set. This uh, is the velocity of the B as a function of the time. And again, traveling in a, in a straight line. Uh, at t equals zero, the b is at the hive. So part a, when is the b farthest from the hive? Well, when is asking for a time? And it's going to be traveling. Here it is like um, increasing its velocity. So it's moving and it's uh, it's positive, so let's say that it's moving to the right. So it's going to be uh, moving and accelerating. And then here it deaccelerates, but it's still moving in the in the positive direction. Here you know, it's a little uh, sprint. And then over here uh, it is decreasing its speed, but still moving in the positive direction. The turning point is over here, right? When the velocity becomes negative. So here it starts going back. So it's going to be moving to the left. So uh, when is the B farthest from the hive? Over here, right at the at the turning point. So in a way, this is just like throwing a, an object up, right? It's deaccelerating, um, but it's still moving in the in the positive direction until it reaches the the top. The velocity is here, and then it starts going back down. It's kind of what happens here, except that this is, I guess, vertical. Um, Sorry, uh, horizontal. So um, the answer for A is nine seconds. And the uh, homework says uh, 8.7 seconds. Yeah, that's pretty close. Um, it's nine seconds in my drawing, anyways. B. How far is the B at its farthest point from the hive? So this is a velocity versus time graph. So if you take the area under the curve, the units are um, meters, right? So this is seconds, would be the, uh, the width uh, of your figure and the height would be in meters per second. So the seconds cancel out and your units are meters. So the area under the curve of the velocity versus time plot is the distance. Uh, the displacements are the displacement from the, uh, the original point. So in previous problems, uh, I was trying to get you know, an equation to represent the line. Uh, it would be very difficult to get an equation uh, for, for this particular trajectory. You might try, but I'm not going to do that. So instead, I am going to divide these kind of in, uh, in, in geometrical shapes. And you can see here that I already calculated the numbers. So my approximation is that this is a triangle. Right. So the area, and this is probably too small for you to see it, that was on purpose. The area under the curve is two seconds, this part. And the height is three meters per second. And you divide over two because it is a triangle. So the area is the area under the curve is three meters. And then this one over here, uh, it's a rectangle, right? And so the width is one from two to three, so three, um, sorry, one second. 
and the height is eight meters per second. Seconds go away, and this is just eight meters. And then uh, here, I grab this triangle first. Right, so here the width is one second. The height is one, two, well, from two to seven, about five meters per second, divided by two because it's a triangle. So that's 2.5 meters. And then we have this rectangle over here. So that is one second times two meters per second. That's two meters. And then um, I also use this triangle over here. So I use this one. So two seconds times one meter per second divided by two. That's one meter. And then uh, I use this one over here. So that's two seconds times two meter per second. Seconds go away, that's four meters. And then um, I use this triangle. So this one is three seconds times three meters per second, divided by two because it's a triangle. Seconds go away, this is 4.5. And so if you add everything, you end up with 25 meters. So the, uh, the answer is 22 meters, which is, uh, it's pretty close. So, you know, if you notice, Uh, here, I have an area that I will have had to subtract. It's in addition. This one is also uh, bigger. And this one is also bigger. And this one is also bigger. Uh, here, this one is, um, I didn't include it. But you know, overall, um, I guess these smaller areas that I included are the difference between the 25 meters and the 22 meters. So, um, you know, this is just an approximation. Uh, you cannot really do much uh, in, in terms of uh, uh, getting quantitative answer. Um, but yeah, this is part B then, 25 meters. And then for part C at 13 seconds, how far is the bee from the hive? And here I use the same procedure. So I use this triangle. Um, this one you can see it more clearly. So this is a one, two, three, four seconds times negative one meters per second divided by two because it's a triangle. So that is minus two meters. All right, so after it reaches uh, its maximum distance to the hive at nine seconds, then it starts going back and 
in these four seconds is going to go back two meters. So the answer for C will be 23 meters. And the answer on the homework says 20, um, which is the same, right? It is sub subtracting two uh, or so from, uh, from their answer of 22. But yeah, this is just uh, another problem of looking at the area under the curve. Thank you.